Hey dudes, uh, welcome to my first video blog, not first video blog, first video blog in a long time. Uh, so I said I was going to start doing these video blogs about uh, moving back and when I move back and doing comedy and that kind of stuff. It's the vlog that nobody asked for, but you're getting anyway. Uh, this is currently on my Luke Capasso channel, but I also have a video blog channel, so it's going to be on that one too. I'm going to try to do these on that channel. I don't know why. I'm not very good at internet marketing. Uh, anyway, a lot of people ask me uh, what part of the states or what part of Ohio I'm going to live in, and my answer is everywhere. Well, right now, I'm trying to think of a plan where I can live in an RV. Right? Here's my game plan. I've been looking around at a few of these. Uh, yeah, I'll be a man of the road. I'm going to travel around. Look at this bad bitch right here. Six grand, the south wind. Look at that thing. Sexy. And a lot of people are like, well, what about your kids? I'll be like, what about you mind your own goddamn business? What about that? But no, this thing sleeps five people. When I got them, they'll be, we'll be living large. Look, that's got two beds back there. Fine. Plow. Shower. Boom. I think if I go back now and use it what I'm used to now, I live in a London apartment, which is like a, a shoebox for, that's equivalent for the UK people, $6,000. That's equivalent to uh, about 70 pounds. So that's how that's going to be. And then I could travel around, do my shows. I'll get some solar panels. I'll be off the grid. Right here, see this thing right here? I get some solar panels up there. That's my power. Blam. I'll put a 50 cal right here. That's for security. And I'll put surface to air on the back. Boom. All kinds of things. Look at this guy. I like this guy. The Renex. That's for, that's where your poop goes out, I guess, apparently. Yeah, so I got a lot to figure out. I haven't really worked this. Carpet looks kind of gross, but I'll get rid of the carpet. I think that thing's beautiful, man. I'm going to be living the life. So I got a lot of things to work out. And apparently, it's something I've missed is in the past uh, five or six years, this big subculture has grown in the U.S. of people that live in RVs. Apparently, they call it, or people that boondock, which is like uh, just parking in the middle of nowhere in like a parking lot somewhere and living like a hobo in your thing. But if you go on YouTube and you type in full-time RV living, there's millions of these fuckers. And not millions, but a lot. Which is a weird collection of either hipsters or right-wing nutjobs, prepper, survivalist type people. I like to think I bridge the gap. So hopefully I go right up the pipe. And uh, but Yeah, I think... I got a lot to figure out. I got a lot of research to do, but I do have some savings from doing comedy, believe it or not, and uh, selling my body throughout the place. That's how I could also make money is doing comedy or just, uh, I'll call it street meat, and I could give erotic massages in my, or not when my kids are in there, obviously. I'm not an animal, but uh, I think most of the money probably be from massaging dudes, which I'm not really all about, but I think an, a dude a day... It's better than a day job. That's not my go-to plan. That's like if it happens, then that'll... If things get bad, that's what that's what I'll do. But yeah, so I got still got a lot to figure out. I'm still doing a lot of research. I sent some messages to these uh, YouTube ding-dongs, and they seem to be getting back pretty well. And uh, I think it's feasible. But like Jon Snow said, winter's coming. So i got to figure out how what you can do in those real thin walls. And the other thing I worry about is getting around. Like, do I drive this big fucker into a city and then just try to hope to find parking? Or do I try to find a... Do I stick a bicycle in there? Or some sort of Batmobile style, put a, motor, a motorcycle could pull into it? I don't know. But... It seems to shit. Look at these, man. I might go Class B, too. Class B is a little smaller. I could park that a little better. I don't need a golf cart. But, uh, like this bit, I don't have 68 grand, but Jesus, if I did, look at that thing. Whoo! You get these two old dudes with it, too? That's not a bad deal. Oh, see, maybe I get one of these fuckers here, and I can put my car on that. I don't know. Ooh, leather couches. Easy cleanup for my... Whoa, hello. That's party time right there. Street meat is gonna be in business. Uh, dude, look at the size of that fucking thing, man. That's bigger than my flat now. Anyway, that's not, this is a shit video blog, but this is what I'm going to be doing. So if you're into this kind of bullshit, again, either, uh, well, if you're on this channel now, why not subscribe? Fuck it. 
But uh, if you want to go to the video blog channel, you can also subscribe there because that's where the shit's going to be going down. And then maybe you'll see the transition into RV life or into just uh, me living under a bridge. Maybe I'll do that too. I could camp. So we'll figure that out as we go along. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, you guys take it easy.